Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 41, and this is war number six. And we're going against an alliance called Hannibal Lecter's Bar and Grill. Oh my goodness. Who thought of that name? Who, who thought of that name? Oh my goodness. Quietus DK, you wrong for that, man. You are wrong for that. All right, let's let's uh, let's see, who do they ban? Ooh, I like y'all already, no gallon banned. Cool, cool. But let's see if they have lined up some gallon food though. All right, let's see. Hmm, okay. And we've got a man thing there. Hmm. Mangog, huh? He doesn't gain po uh, armor ups as far as I know. Hmm. Doesn't really need, um, I mean, you know, I can take him with, with whoever I want to really, who's a good counter for him. May have uh, MD. So that might be a little bit fun, um, but we'll see. Uh, man thing, I always think about um, Diablo. He's a great option for that. Who? This guy here. Really don't like fighting him, but I can. We'll probably talk about that one. Uh, I will definitely call a man thing. And if somebody else can take that one, let's see. Ooh, Nimrod. I'm calling him too. All right, so that is Nebula. She can also take this uh, Omega Sentinel. Okay, so Nebula... El Diablo and somebody else who possibly will take that first fight. Maybe Human Torch. We'll have to see. Was Human Torch? Hold on, let me see. Was he? Um... Okay, yeah, he was banned. Okay, so no Human Torch. Hmm. Maybe Diablo can take him out too. Well, we'll we'll see. This one could also be Gowan. Although I might uh, bring Overseer just for some backup. Let me think. Yeah, Overseer might be good for uh, Scorpion. So I might I might do that. Might be Overseer, Nebula, and uh, Diablo, and I'll be able to take two of the uh, minis, freeing my uh, alliance mates up to bring in somebody else if they need to. Let's see here. Hmm. Don't see anybody in particular, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right, just look around, show you guys their defense placement. You can pause the video, all that good stuff so you can see where they placed everybody. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so here's the team I'm going in with. We've got El Diablo. Uh, Nebula, and the Overseer. Uh, I am really liking the Overseer. I regret nothing about his rank ups. And I'm probably going to try to sig him up to uh, 200 as well, as that will increase his damage. All right, so first fight, Mangog. Now, I remember Mangog being on an unblockable special two node 
where we had to really do a lot of power control. That's not on this node here. And he doesn't get armor up, so he's not benefiting from the node. Uh, but he is annoying. Now, I did think about bringing Human Torch. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think this one, uh, they don't think they banned Torch. So I was thinking that I could bring Human Torch maybe uh, for this fight and one other. But I don't really like bringing Human Torch in because I run the Recoil Masters. And he's not the best with those. All right, so you can see here, we're already taking little chunks out of his health. Look at that. And I was still worried, okay? But look at Overseer. Just look at Overseer. Overseer is going in. Look at this. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. You know, I I'm loving it. I love the fact that he is poison immune, so I don't have to worry about the uh, Liquid Courage uh, debuff. But look at this. He's also a subdue attacker. All right, so every time, uh, just in case you didn't know, every time I retaliate, uh, punish his uh, heavy or special, I do extra damage. And the amount depends on the uh, SIG level. Ooh, so what you saw right there, I was waiting for him to get his full hatred because I knew that I needed to fire it off. And that was close because I didn't want to go to a special three. That wouldn't work. Um, I've tried that and it didn't work. I need to intercept him with a special one or a special two. So I was all the way blocked in the back where I don't like to be. And he went and I was like, okay, I got to dash back and fire my special and hope I get the interception, and I did. Now, this fight, pretty straightforward. El Diablo is great against Man-Thing. Now, I learned how to fight Man-Thing with uh, Diablo a little bit better than I was doing. Uh, one of the things that I like to do here is I like to go to a special three. Special three puts a lot of poisons on my opponent. And El Diablo does a lot more damage based on how many poisons are on the opponent. So not only will he take a lot of poison damage, but every time I hit him, he's going to take extra damage. So watch that. And you can see Diablo is full health. And look at this. The special three did damage. Now look at the look at look at his health. Look at his health. I'm not even hitting him. Look at that. Never touched him. After that special three. Diablo is a mean, mean boy. Uh, no regrets taking him up. He was made for the recoil masteries. Loving it. All right. So so far, so good. Um, let me see. What did I do next here? Um, no, I did not take anybody in the middle. And I don't think I took, yeah, I didn't take this many. Um, I, I was going to take this many. But I think uh, they, they took a long time for the middle to get cleared. And I went to bed. And when I woke up, uh, they had already cleared because they needed to get to section two. Um, but in any case, uh, I don't think I had any problem. Let me see. Yeah. Against her, not a problem. Uh, Nebula, once I build up, I think it's five of the, uh, shock charges. Uh, I don't have to worry about her getting those armor ups. So that's what you see me doing here. Just building up and I'm trying to remember if I had any input issues in, in this one. All right, we evaded that heavy because I remember having input issues against um, one of them. And I think it might have been this one. 
let's see. Okay, we're just building up some more. Okay, there we go, building up. Not too worried about it. Okay, yep, evaded that. Yeah, right there. Now it's working. So, I can always tell. And, and it messed me up because now I had to go to a special three instead of the special two I was going to do. But the issue that I've always had with the input system when it was in beta and currently now, that it's our default, is when they fire a heavy and I'm really close to them, sometimes I it will drop my input. And we have seen someone who turned on the touch and they have proof that they swiped and the character did nothing. So maybe they will uh, find the issue. I'm hoping they will. Because that's really the only issue that I have uh, with the inputs. But it's a big issue because it can cause me death and has. Um, especially like if I'm fighting a uh, Hulkbuster and I swipe and don't move, bam. I take a lot of damage and if that doesn't kill me, I'm stunned and he'll finish me off. So anyway, uh, Scorpion, that evade, man. I hate that. And he does a nice combo. That's just a good combo against me, man. He's like, bye-bye. And then I tried to block and he hit me with the heavy. And I'm just like, okay, okay. You got it. That was a good one. So, Scorpion, down. Not a big deal. But I was worried. Because Scorpion can be very, very annoying. All right. And as you can see, um, my alliance mate is fighting right alongside me. He had sent me a message and asked me um, roughly when I was going to be going in because... Um, he needed to go in as well. And, uh, I was like about 30, 40 minutes. And so he was waiting. And then when he saw me go in, he went in as well. And, uh, you guys already know about this fight. Um, if you've been watching the, the war videos, you already know how this fight goes. Build up and then, uh, get a parry, special two, and the fight's over. Um... I really, I don't know whether I should take her up to rank four. Uh, after this war, uh, or after this war season, I'll be able to get another rank four. And I don't know. She's been very useful, but she's good even like this. And she's taken out rank four uh, Nimrods. And I'm pretty sure she could take out a rank five Nimrod. Kaboom. Tick, tick, boom. So, I don't know. Anyway, here's a bonus fight coming up. Uh, I meant to mention it earlier, but um, I, I don't know what happened, but the guy who was supposed to do this fight wasn't there or something like that. And they asked me, could I take this Korg with my Diablo? I'm like, okay, don't like that node, but it's all good. I used to be the Korg killer for my um, battle group. And so I know how to fight Korg. The only thing that I wasn't able to do with Korg was the light intercepts. If you can do light intercepts properly, you can take Korg with pretty much anybody. But that's not how I have to do it. But this fight is actually um, perfect for my style of fighting Korg. And you'll see. Because you don't want to try to stun him anyway. Um, because of this uh, reflective stun. And I, I was pretty sure that I wouldn't need an invulnerability uh, boost. Now, I was looking here and I'm like, well, the one thing that I don't want, I don't want to get stunned. 
So I went ahead and, and activated that one to make me uh, stun immune while that um, was a philosopher's uh, thing was uh, uh, active. All right, so I started out with a uh, uh, interception. Okay, notice I'm taking a lot of blocks. That's how I fight Korg. Intercepts and take blocks. So I normally fight him stun immune anyway. Now here is usually the time that I can parry and go in, but because of the node, I can't do that. But we're talking about El Diablo. So El Diablo, he gonna tear him up. And every time I take down the shield, it goes down faster each time. Okay, now Korg is not poison immune. All right, so at this point, you already saw what, what Diablo can do with his special three. So what I wanna do now is get his uh, shield shattered, fire off the special three. And you already know, Diablo is a bad boy. So look at this, look at that damage. And skadoosh. But, poisons. And remember what I told you about the poisons on him? Look at this, look at my damage. Look at that damage. Check them red numbers. Very, very nice. And Diablo is not even worried about it. And the fight is over. Very, very simple, straightforward, easy fight with Diablo. All right, so that was the final fight for me in this war. And we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. It was a pretty close war. Um, but Hannibal Lecter's bar and grill served us up, and we lost. Hopefully, we'll uh, win the next war. But we fought. We fought well. We just didn't fight well enough. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What did you think about El Diablo? And what he did to that cord. Nice, right? Not to mention the man thing. Anyway, take care. And you all have a blessed day.